Hey guys, what's happening? Just wanted to share a quick update with you as to how my new skimmer has been performing. Uh, before I had a modified version of a Catalytes PLS50. It happened to be working just fine, but the only issue was that I had to adjust it and mess with it almost every three days and it was just becoming a pain. So I heard Innovative Marine came out with a new updated version of their Nuvo skimmer. So I was hesitant at first just because of, you know, some older reviews on the older model, but went ahead, pulled the trigger. I do not regret it. Long story short, this skimmer happens to be pretty dang quiet. Uh, it's not as loud as my last skimmer. This skimmer, by the way, has happened to be a workhorse. I actually waited about two weeks of ownership of owning this rather than giving you the first three days of my impressions on the product. But the first day, it started skimming. But I noticed after a couple of days, it started skimming nice coloration on it. Some good protein mixed up in there. Every two days or so, I have to empty this cup. It gets maybe about three quarters of the way full. Kind of get worried of it overflowing, but I mean, I feed a lot in this tank. I feed reef roids, a variety of mysis shrimp, just different types of food. So typically for another reef tank, this might uh, last a lot longer, but if you look at this fill cup, it's pretty big. It's not tiny. Let me kind of get a flashlight on there so I could show you what color skim mate we're talking about here. There we go. There's that nasty skim mate we're looking for. <laughs> this does not smell good. I need to empty this and clean out the tube in the inside. But as you can see, it does a really good job. It's a really good method of nutrient export for myself. And I feed a lot like I was telling you. So A plus product for me. And you know what? If you guys want to know how loud this is, I would say it's about on par with the stock return pump. I happen to sleep next to this tank, so, you know, a loud skimmer would totally bother me at night. I wake up to anything, so definitely give it an A on the sound bar. And uh, in case you guys are wondering how you make adjustments, you actually move this rubber band up and down to make the skim mate skim more of a wet or dry style. I have mine a little bit in between, so a little best of both worlds here. Another thing that's neat about the skimmer is that it happened to leave a little bit of room right here, a gap to where I could slide the entire skimmer out and still have these functional HMS hanger arms from uh, Aqua Illumination. And they still fit, so that's nice because I'm gonna need to get in there and clean that skimmer every once in a while. Probably about every month. I'm gonna wait two more weeks before I actually look down there and see how much it gunk builds up. But so far everything's looking really good with the skimmer on week two. What I like about having a skimmer that's going to be working for me nonstop is the fact that I don't have to worry about my, you know, feeding schedule. Like, oh, I have to feed a certain amount of flakes or a certain amount of food just to keep my nitrates down. I feel like that's where so many nano reefers struggle is not having a good method of nutrient export. So this is just optional. This is just my personal um, opinion and advice on what I think made this tank successful was the fact that I am using a small dosage of bio pellets to assist with um, eating and breaking down those bacteria, having a method of nutrient export, which happens to be this skimmer right here. Now, having a biopallet reactor, as you may or may not know, happens to only work if you have a skimmer, just because otherwise those broken down organics are just going to remain in, those tank, in the tank and it's not going to be exported as it should be. And uh, let me guys show you my little tip right here. If you guys end up st installing one of these media reactors, this one happens to be a little aqua gadget from Innovative Marine. You can twist the top and it adjusts the flow rate of a bio pellet reactor or whatever media you want to put in there. I suggest cutting a slit on the side so you can watch your media tumble if you're using bio pellets because if it stops tumbling, it's going to break down and turn into mush and your tank is probably going to go through a mini cycle and crash because it's happened plenty of times to me. So just always make sure to keep these things maintenance. Um, you definitely want to check on these every other day if you're going to plan on using bio pellets. And like I was saying earlier, I use a small dosage of bio pellets because I'm not relying on it 100% to keep my nutrients in check. I just rely on it as an assist to my you know method of nutrient import export. So... If you guys are going to go and use bio pellets, I highly suggest using at least a third of what the actual bottle or container suggests to use because I used the exact amount that they recommended in the beginning and I noticed my tank was too clean, like corals were not happy and things were not doing well and I noticed when I started using less, I started seeing better results with my corals and just since I have a mixed reef, it's kind of hard to balance out the two, keeping the SPS and the LPS happy, but... 
I figured doing a third happened to be my best results here. And also I have a little refugium back there uh, that helps as well. That refugium will not work if I am using a high dosage of bio pellets. So it's kind of in the middle. I don't know if it helps with my pH as much as people claim, but I mean, I just have it just because you never know, it might help a little bit more. <laughs> Well guys, that's just going to about do it for my little update here. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching these videos. I'm really happy again with the skimmer and it keeping up with all my needs for my feeding schedule and basically just the consistency of the product. I'll update with you guys in the future and let you know how it's still working in other videos. But so far, so good. Definitely recommend it. If you have this tank or if you have a nano tank that has maybe the same real estate back there, I highly suggest getting this skimmer because there are not many if any skimmers on the market that skim like this so thanks guys thanks for watching tune in for the next video as i update my int system see you guys till next time bye